Eight News is taking action tonight. A recently released report raising new concerns about how the killer who in an apparent cross country murder case could have been hired by two different law enforcement agencies right here in Virginia. Eight News reporter Olivia Jaquith, Jaquith is live in the Digital Center tonight sharing new details about a violent incident that brought police to the suspect's home all the way back in 2016, Olivia. That's absolutely right, Eric. A Los Angeles Times reported that a judge signed a temporary detention order in response to that incident, citing a substantial likelihood that the suspect, Austin Edwards, would seriously hurt himself. Yet law enforcement agencies here in Virginia say they didn't know, as the 2016 records didn't come up in background checks. Recently released police records revealing new information about the suspect in a cross country murder investigation. Former Virginia State Police Trooper Austin Lee Edwards reportedly threatened to kill himself and his father in the presence of Abington Police after an incident of self harm back in 2016. These photos show the weapons authorities believe he may have used. It's not going to come up in a regular records check. It's one of the things we have to look at to see if um, there is another way that we can. Um, be able to receive that information without being in violation of uh, the ADA. The report raising questions about how Edwards would go on to be hired by state police and later the Washington County Sheriff's Office in the same county where the 2016 incident happened. Dana Schrod with the Virginia Association of Chiefs of Police says it's prompted a closer look at hiring policies for law enforcement in the Commonwealth. We're looking at whether we can query the federal firearms transaction database and would that be helpful when we're doing uh, employment backgrounds or whether we need to um, take another look at, at the kind of, of um, information we can get during the interview process. Police in California say Edwards traveled across the country after engaging in a deceptive relationship with a teen girl online, posing as a 17 year old himself. They say he killed her grandparents and mother and later turned the gun on himself during a shootout with sheriff's deputies as he tried to escape with the girl. His home in southwestern Virginia bought just days before the murders now sitting vacant, an eerie reminder to neighbors of the tragedy in California. Now we also submitted a records request to state police and the Washington County Sheriff's Office on Edwards, both of which were denied. However, the Sheriff's Office did send me this payroll notice simply stating the date of Edwards most recent hire and his salary. It was signed by the sheriff on November 2nd and just into our newsroom, a new statement from Virginia State Police saying their internal administrative review on this matter has concluded, saying that it resulted in human error. Rather, that was the reason for the in complete database query that perhaps resulted in this information on Edwards being missed. This is a developing story. Stick with us on air and online as we work to learn more. But for now, live in the Digital Center, Olivia Jaquith, 8 News.